uh, we want to bring in CN meteorologist Rob Marciano uh, to talk more about plutonium and what it is and what dangers it presents because when you say the word plutonium it's it's scary it, does, it is it should be scary I mean it's the stuff that they use in nuclear weapons so it's it's the most potent stuff it's the stuff that's being has been mixed and used in a reactor number three and uh, it's the most scary and and most uh, uh, the stuff about the longest half-life. I, I want to break down a couple of uh, terms for you. Uh, radioiodine, uh, that is the stuff that they've, they've found in, in, in traces in California and Massachusetts and other places in, in, in some rainwater. That has a half-life of uh, eight days, meaning it becomes harmless in eight days. This other stuff, plutonium, 87 years for, for 238. 239, that's the stuff they use in, in nuclear weapons, and that's 24,000 years. So you get an idea just how potent this stuff is. But just remember that this is what's showing up in the U.S., okay? It becomes completely harmless in eight days. And even when it's, it's being reported in the trace amounts that, that we're seeing right now, it's already harmless. I mean, we get more radiation uh, from the sun, from, from bananas, from, from rocks, from an airplane ride. We get, like you know, 100,000 times more radiation than we, we're, we're, we're finding. But it does kind of tell you just how connected the globe is.